I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. Used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal. When it has been years since anyone's heard anything but static and white noise on the radio, who could still believe we are not alone on this earth? My wife, my comrades from the Order, my friends, people from my station. Nobody believes me. They are sure that there's nothing on the radio. Sure that save for us, who hid in Moscow Metro, there were no survivors of the last war. We are alone on this planet, and in the Metro it's common knowledge. But I did hear that call on the radio with my own ears. Yes, it was immediately drawn out by the static, but I had heard it. Which means that somewhere out there, under the skies, there's still a habitable place. We're not doomed to live the rest of our lives underground. Still, nobody believes me.
what Artyom been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you! Leave him alone! I killed him myself with my slingshot. Let him learn to stand up for himself. How else can he hope to survive in the metro? Rise and shine, people! Hang in there, Artyom. You gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now? Artyom, are you awake? It's okay. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6, but you leave. People need you, and you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro, nothing else. And the order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to police. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but... People are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Still, lucky those Spartans are damn good. They brought Artyom here just in time. They sure are. I cannot remember the last time I saw a bunch of healthy and fit people down here. Yeah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. Artyom, just try to take better care of yourself, huh? 
Even if you find someone else out there, they probably have their own troubles. So what would contacting them even accomplish? Besides, I remember we used to receive signals from the outside pretty frequently soon after the bombs fell. But not for a long time now. Doesn't that tell you anything? Ah well, it's your life. Artyom, I understand how you feel, but you're not always going to save the Metro single-handedly. Why keep looking for a solution alone? Your friends from the Order came to your help again. The Colonel seems to want you back in the unit. Why waste your time in our farming station, or out there looking for ghosts? If Sparta wanted me, I'd join in a heartbeat. Eh, in any case, good luck, Artyom. Yeah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. Eh, well, sadly, it's their job. <laughs> well, job or no job, if they keep doing that. Well, not everyone can stand being cooped up down here. Huh? And why not? It's what's kept us alive up to now. Huh. And how long do you think that's going to last? How many kids are there in the station? In the whole metro? Who will be left here in ten years? Ten years? We'll be lucky if we make it halfway there. No antibiotics, no suture threat. Which is why we can't afford to have our best fighters taking unnecessary risks. What will we do if all the Spartans come down with radiation poisoning like Artyom, and the Nazis try something? That's exactly why they go up there. They know we can't solve anything by hiding in our holes. The stores are running out. There's fewer of us, and more of the mutants. And those keep getting larger, stronger, and smarter by the day. Sooner or later, they will crush us. Sure, there's nowhere else to go, but maybe something up there could help us. <sighs> I'm not sure what could possibly be worth endangering themselves for like this. But, who knows? Maybe they found some secret maps in D6 that point to a storage unit of some kind. Something that will save us. I don't know. Huh, I doubt there is any magical salvation out there. What could possibly have survived on the surface after all these years? The only real solution would be total evacuation. But where would we go? So, what are you proposing? I, I say we all just off ourselves here quietly. <laughs> I have no idea, really. I don't think anyone does. But hey, at least they're trying. Yes. If not them, then who? <coughs> Uncle Artyom, don't worry. I believe you. <coughs> Will you take me with you when you find the clean place outside? <coughs> Artyom, stop putting delusions into his head. I don't want him going crazy like you. I can't even sleep since you told him all those silly stories. Is that supposed to make him better? Please, leave my son alone. Yes, I know it is. Spend 
spending so much time on the surface is suicide. Yes, I don't want to lose my husband to radiation. I hate him for killing himself out there like that every day. But what if you consider even for one second that Artyom was right? What if he did hear that signal? Would you ever forgive yourself if we let the chance go? The chance to come back to real life, to raise our children outside with sun shining on them. Real sun, Dad. I know I wouldn't. All right. Let's talk it over once more with Artyom. I must say, though, that even if he did hear some signal, it's not necessarily a good thing. Eh? We'll talk about it later, not in a public space. Deal. <laughs> I can't believe my eyes! Artyom! You're all right. You Ooh, gave us a scare, Duke. brother! Artyom! How are you, friend? I Pardon see you're me, all right. Gentlemen, give this way. calls for a celebration. Artyom! Few more scars and you'll be completely irresistible to any woman! Speaking of which... Alyosha, how you are, are you the nurses in the hospital, guys, huh? Could you just stop crowding him? <sighs> brother... Welcome back, Artyom. Ah-ha! Uh, Priviat, Artyom! All right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's official. Yeah. I knew it. Oh, you guys are like So kids. I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom. Nothing? Artyom, the only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. <sighs> Why, yes, and there's also those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it. We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Oh, Father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limit zone. <laughs> Have you been to all these ruins? <sighs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. I had to scare a demon away. It was getting too comfortable here. Oh, 
look. Maybe you should come back to the Order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Your turn now. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? Turn the light off. Did you hear that? Again! Watchmen! Hear that? It's a pack. Just what we need. A draw. We're lucky the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. Stop! The pack is here. So, do we turn this place into Thermopylae, or do we let them pass? Wait it out. Looks like that was all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us. That was a large pack. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. We take the bridge to cross the railroad. It would save us a detour. Damn, too high. Hey, Artyom, help me get out there. Shit! Come up now. Got you! Did you hear that, Artyom? Something large, hard. 
At least it was far away. Now that's what I call a blizzard! Can't be a thing! Or here! Let's switch to radios! <sighs> John, are you seeing this? I'm not just imagining things, right? A train! A damn train on the surface! Where? Shit, what do we do, Artyom? Should we catch up with it? Look! It's our guys from the Order! Looks like they're chasing that train, too. Let's join them. Hey, come on! Get inside! How did you guys get here? Did you see that thing out there? We sure did! Come on, get in! One of them is the Order Commander's daughter. You should have checked first, assholes! Artyom, thank away. God. Because These people, the they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one Look, for what's that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, really? we'll tell the whole metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back. They won't be needing any masks. Fool, he could have lived. Let's go.
damn watchmen broke through. Ugh, the workers are done for. Keep your weapon trained on the opening. If anything comes through, shoot. What's that noise? Should send a group there to seal the exit and pick up the remains. Attention! The turntable is switching on. to cool his head. Well, I knew I could expect anything from the old timer, but shouting at the captain? <laughs> That's too much. Isn't he just drunk out of his mind? All the train drivers make moonshine. They always have fire going there, after all. Ah, oh, shut up. If life hit you as hard as it hit that man, you'd fucking hang yourself. What happened to him? His daughter died. And she was the reason he took the damn job. Oh, Fearing the shooting idea squads in her prey. As good a job as any. For an ass like you, maybe. But not for that old timer. He has principles, you see. Well, he should have stayed true to them. Maybe then his daughter would still be alive. That's exactly what he did. But his daughter had TB. Untreatable. And our guys told him they'd cure her. That's how he got hooked, as he told me. First, they had him transport railroad repair crews, and then switch to the Sharon route. He took issue, but was reminded of his daughter. So now he has nothing to fear. So now, he has nothing to live for. God forbid you ever outlive your children, boy. God forbid. Ah, uh, I understand. The fuck you do? All right, let's just shut up for now. You have just about enough of your whining, you old fuck! You're going straight for the ravine if you don't shut up. Now listen, if you come out of here, we won't accept this shit again. Okay? Understand? Ah. Animals! How can they? What can I do? A mutant? Watchman! Ah! A human? How did you... Oh. oh my god. It's you she's been screaming about. Alive! You came for her? All right. I'll help. Finally, I'll be of some use. <laughs> okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance. Too many guards. But we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Permission to report, Captain, sir. Granted. Turn the lights off. Is the breach localized? Yes, sir. It's under constant watch. 
Well done. I'll report to the brain. Turn the lights off, young man. To fix the fence. In the meantime, you stay on guard. Carry on. Yes, sir. Turn the lights off. Oh, Yermak, are you through your bout of conscience? Hey, what the hell is happening? It's the fucking breaker again. Looks like they didn't finish the repairs at the generator, Sergeant. Senya, go tell the workers. Have them check. Oh, you turned quite civil again, Yermak. So you can use your head after all. <laughs> don't rush. Crouch. Hey, don't make noise. See that ladder? Try sneaking to it now. Just stay out of the light, please. Ridiculous. Stay close to the wall. Your mark, is that you? What are you mumbling? Come here and help me fix this. Yes, sir. Got me already. Come on, come on. Fixing this should be nothing for you. You can't follow me. Take that ladder instead. Your mark, what's taking you so long? Uh, a shoelace got untied. I'm coming now. It's none of your fucking business, that's what. What are you even doing standing here? Don't you have shit to do? Everyone got to ask questions. Oh, come on, man. Don't come on me. Get to work. I've got my plate full without your dumb questions. to take him down. Can you do it quietly? What's with that mumbling? Oh, I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> I got a memory problem, you see. Ah, oh, you're mad. Time to fit that fine jacket, huh? Yeah. Getting old isn't much fun. that door. Try distracting him. Look, there's some garbage around. Throw some. Great. Now throw it. I... Well done. 
This system supplies air for the command center. It's not that large, actually. Wait for the moment and go through. I will, of course, do it again, but uh, I, I'm not much of a fighter, as you could guess. Good luck to you. They just left it sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, people. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go! All on operate. Who are you? Andrei Ivanovich Yermak, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar, then God willing, I'll get you out of here. They know me, so I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, ah, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Uh, hey guys, be careful. What's going on? Hey! Hey, guys! Artyom, I see the enemy. Give me a boost! 
Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Atyom. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. <laughs> in here all by themselves, did they? A chopper brought them in and scooped it. Oh, yeah. Agent Hank reporting. Naturally, they're pretending to be civilians. You look at these to be a week of service. Yeah, yeah, I don't know shit, I know. This place looks clear. Good. Still, we should stay alert. Oh, freezing to death here. Got the shivers. Now we can survive the cold. Something else gives me the shiver, though. Tell me, why are we here? Why? I guess to guard the back door. Exactly. And how are we supposed to guard it with this garbage? Well, our good guns are gathering dust back home. What if they aren't Captain's dust? I think our military's preparing a full out assault against the right or the reds. So they need all the good guns for frontline duty. And since we're safe here, they gave us what was left. That's all. Well, I'd better be in the front lines, then. This is rustic garbage. So what? It can still shoot? Yeah, it can, but can it hit anything? It's not even worth trying to zero in. It's all crooked and worn out. Ah, uh, now you're just whining. You don't need accuracy to shoot caught spy at point-blank range. Well, yeah, but how about a watchman trying to snack on me? Then you pray and spray. At least we have free ammo. We can handle a watchman together. If it's alone. Yes, if it's alone. What's the point in actually going there? Don't give me that, Grigori. The enemy strikes where you don't expect. It's an alert, after all. That's true, I guess. Do you remember the time they had a shot at the second station? The Northwest wasn't covered for days, and you could hear signals from the outside. That means they could hear us, too. They're lucky to fix yourself. So what were those signals about? What could you hear before Jamming came back? Washington? Yeah, Washington is all right, don't you worry. Waiting for us to mess up. Ah, yeah, well, enough of that. shutting off. Is there any sense in sitting in the tower with no searchlight? Again? This just won't do. Let's get the workers to fix it. Now? There's a fucking alert going on. Nobody but the guards are allowed to move. Yeah? Well, do something about it then, or else you're up for a chewing out. I know. Well, go wherever you are going. Patrol or something.
Attention! The command center came under enemy attack. The attackers are assumed to still be on the base territory. I'm changing position. All unauthorized persons are to be fired upon immediately. Civilian personnel movement is prohibited until further notice. Attention! The jamming system is coming back online. Watch out. There's a guard on the tower. Wait till the right moment. Uh, just my luck. Sitting at the very top, right under the jammer. Ah, shit. This thing could boil your brains. Yermak? Yes, sir. Mika's watching him. Captain, sir, if I may have permission to speak, this Yermak is one shady character. What is he doing at the train? It's only setting off tomorrow. We'll find out. First, we handle the attackers, and oh. then we take time He's talking to him. Oh, that's great. He's been acting way too suspicious lately. Ah, this is They just had to attack now, these fuckers. Now I'll be stuck here for at least a week longer, and it's been over a month already. And I feel like shit. I should see the doctor. You should tell the Major. It might be time for your transfusion. <laughs> transfusion, my ass. That's for the officers. We only get iodine. We'll get some then. Imagine you're at sea, eating oysters. What sea? I've only ever been to Moscow River, in Strogino when I was three. There was so much sand. I still remember. Just you imagine that. Same difference. River, sea... I lost all my tablets to Chrome Dome. Well, then you're just shit out of luck, my friend. I'm telling you, there was a noise from behind the gate! There's nobody out there, that's for sure. It's the outside gate, so it could only be watchmen. What if it's the attackers? Well, then those watchmen just had a nice meal and we don't have to worry. <laughs> you say so. Still, this is suspicious. You do your thing and I'll just stay here, just in case. Group A, 
Okay, report your status. Group D, continue patrolling the hangar. Group A, they check the courtyard and generator room. Communications were lost there. Damn, how many guards do they have? What the hell is this? Yeah. Gotta tell maintenance. Did something fall down, down there? there? All this trash lying around. See what's up, babe. Group D, redeploy to the wind turbine zone. I repeat, Group D, redeploy to the wind turbine zone immediately. Group B is under heavy attack from Watchmen. Why can't you just stay still, Yermak? We're on high alert. Civilians aren't allowed to just walk around now. Now, does that mean you're going to ready the train for me? What's the matter with you today? Why do you even want to do that now? You only have an outing plan for tomorrow, and it's bound to be cancelled now. Just stay put for now. We'll have to have a long talk later about breaking the rules. <sighs> Am I glad to see you here? Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. All right. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there Come and switch on, the turntable mechanism on. And please, be careful. We could easily have the whole base on us. More guards! Get them! There is people! Artyom, turn the turntable on. Alert! All group! To the hangar! I see him! Are you okay? Hey, there's a manual drive on the platform. It's hard to drive.
out here, Artyom. Let's do this together. Just a little... Yes. The seals might be damaged. We did it! Yeah! Base, we apprehended the engineer with two accomplices. Over. Roger that, Base. Over. All right, shoot these two. And as for the engineer... Oh, what do you mean, shoot these two? Is Don't this the you dare give me lip, soldier! Here. The Colonel will give you a piece of his mind now. Colonel, sir, we have a situation here. Anna! Dad! Guys! It's us! Help us! What oh, the no. hell? Uh, Artyom! Guys, what are you doing here? Talk about Sir Colonel, Christ. this will mean court-martial for all of you. All right, everyone, shut up! I can't believe this. Just can't Shit! So this is true? You're working for them? The bastard shot Artyom! Be quiet! Be How did you end up here? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. You have no idea what you just stuck your heads in. We've no moves left. Hansa can't take this line no, down. Shit, the watchers Sherlock. won't let No, I won't be quiet. What is this jammer for? Why are they hiding the fact that Moscow didn't survive alone? There, what is in the Anna ravine, about, there are sir? people from what other cities, dead! All Everyone of them, women, up. children! I'll tell you all later. Everything. Gramps, what's going on out there? Down this road. The road is fine, at least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course. We have to make haste, though. They called the cruiser. All right, gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess, and I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to not my this call and you're misunderstanding. Well, I'll channel. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The no one behind. All right, Spartans, throw these overboard and full steam ahead. Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch some air. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! While you were getting irradiated on the surface, my father just kept lying! Lying to you, to me, to everyone! The whole fucking world! And not even batting an eye! Uh? Down. 
Let them think we are surrendering. Ah, finally some good sense. Now, keep writing to a stop. Well, grenades will barely scratch their paint, so... How about from the inside? Not enough explosives. Unless we put everything we have in their firebox. Please, let me do it, Colonel, sir. I will be appointing the volunteers here. Our team will do it. Why Artyom? Because he started the plot, and he better do something about it. Artyom, leap over as soon as we slow down. I will distract him in the meantime. Plastic if that's you, you go. Cover if needed. Cut the shit, Miller. There's nowhere to go. You've never been out here. We have. We weren't going to go far. Just go to town for it until the excitement quiets down. And you just opened fire. Will you let us go if we stop? I have to detain you and bring you back to face trial. You do understand the charges you're facing, right? Desertion. Treason. Are you fucking kidding me? Me? A traitor? You tell me, where are you taking that train, huh? On a simple joyride? No, I see only one answer. You've been spot and you're running back to your master. But the verdict has already been passed. We won't even see a trial. Cut that shit out. What are you carrying, man? Defense plans? You want to buy yourself a seaside retirement with a life, you damn cripple? Class? Treason? We have served you people without question for years. We have spilled our blood for the cause! You sold out! They destroyed us and you! I have been a soldier my whole life! I have dedicated my life to my people, my country! But I'll be damned if I give it to parasites like you! for me! Get going! 
Not just traitors. We are honest to God enemy saboteurs. <laughs> 